Hey church family, Monday morning I'm down at the building. Uh, we are continuing to move forward in progress and excited for what this week holds. Over the course of the next couple weeks, uh, while we are without our gathering, I'm inviting you to join me in an extended uh, season of prayer where we would seek God first and his kingdom first and his righteousness first and that we would uh, lean on him fully and completely. And so I'm going to provide some short uh, one to three minute devotionals over the course of the next couple weeks, along with throughout the week posting some uh, prayers that would provide uh, just a, a seeking of the Lord together, uh, just some concerted prayers towards uh, the text that we're in, and then some uh, questions later in the week that would allow us to put some feet to the text. And uh, So I, in my personal time, have been in the book of Joshua and just considering what it means uh, to be a people who are strong and courageous. And so in our time over the next couple of weeks, just going to be drawing out some truth from the text, from the story of Joshua. Joshua chapter 1 is this time of unknown for Joshua. Moses had just stepped off the scene. Uh, God is calling Joshua to step into this position of leadership. Now, if any of you have been a part of organizations during transitions, one, one of the most uncertain times in organizational life is during leadership transi transitions. In fact, if you were to follow college football, you would know that when the head coach gets replaced, everyone else uh, on the team ultimately will get replaced. Offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, like that's just a time where they come in and they clean house and they bring all kinds of new people in. And so for an organization or for a group of people, uh, there is no time more uncertain than when leadership changes. In addition to this uncertainty of the leadership change, where Joshua is now stepping in to, to uh, take the mantle that Moses had carried. Uh, God's now recalling uh, the Israelites to go into the promised land. So not only is there a positional change uh, in leadership, but there's geographic change in, in where they're called to. And so the book of Joshua is the story of conquest into a new land. And if you remember the story that would prevent them from going into this land was the giants that were in the land who seemed uh, so big that the 12 spies that were sent by Moses, 10, back, 10 came back and said, no way, we can't, we can't do it. I want to speak to the unknown real quick, and this be what guides our prayers this week, or guides our prayers and thoughts this week. Uh, when we walk in seasons of unknown, so long as we know the God who has made himself known, we need not fear. Let me say that again. When we are in seasons of unknown, so long as we know the God who has made himself known. Uh, Romans 1.20 would speak through general revelation, through creation. God has made himself known. And John chapter 1 would speak of that word uh, becoming flesh, Jesus becoming flesh and making himself known. So through creation, we know that God is known. And through special revelation, we know who that God is. When we know that God in times of unknown, we need not fear. Two things that God would say to Joshua in chapter 1 of Joshua, and I encourage you to read the text this week. The first is, God would remind Joshua of the promises that he made. And second, God would remind Joshua of the presence that he will give him as he moves forward. We read in chapter 1, verse 3, he says, I've given you this land just as I had promised Moses, a reminding of the promises. And then we fast forward to at uh, the end of verse 5 of chapter 1, he says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. And over again, he says, be strong and courageous at the end of the text. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. When we know God and the promises of God and experience the presence of God, we need not fear. And it's my prayer for us this week that we would not only be about making God known, to those who are afraid, to those who are, are, are discouraged by the unknown, but that we would be a people who know the promises of God and experience the daily presence of God. I'm praying for you this week. Uh, please join me in praying for that for our community, for our church family. God bless.